For a writer who's never submitted to the blacklist, how does that work? The blacklist, um, I think it's important to to point out, is um, you um, you upload a screenplay um, to their website, um, and um, the website more or less is a collection of screenplays that are written by anybody. Um, anybody can upload a, a screenplay um, or a, a TV pilot um, to the blacklist. It doesn't doesn't matter who you are or where you are in the world, you can go ahead and do so. And um, those scripts are evaluated. Now, the, the one thing is, though, um, you're going to be paying a monthly fee, and that is, um, I think the monthly fee is $30 um, for, for that script to be hosted on the site. And for each evaluation, you must pay um, a $75 fee. Now, if you have the money to do that, which for some, that can be a little tight to afford, but if you have the money to do that, it's very much worth the while because the blacklist is probably the main, um, it's the central access that you will have to the, the, the film industry um, these days, specifically if you're not in Hollywood and you don't have an agent or some kind of representation that can submit your work and get you meetings. If you don't have an access to um, a, um, a representation, um, an agent um, or a manager that can submit your scripts um, or um, get you meetings. So it's worthwhile to, to post your script on the blacklist. The other thing that's really wonderful about the blacklist is that the readers um, there provide coverage for your scripts. Um, now, this coverage is, is good in and of itself, and in, uh, of, of, um, of its own to, to promote um, the, what, what a concise understanding is of your story um, on, your, on your blacklist page. But it also is a great tool for you to know where the flaws are in your script. So you can, um, you can use it as a balance sheet as to where you need to um, fix areas that um, may not be communicating well. Um, if, you, if you are a new writer and you, are, you're, you have trouble taking criti uh, um, critique <laughs> or receiving critique, it's a great, it's a great um, 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 baptism by fire. This is the, the, the other thing um, in regards to the blacklist that is, is um, invaluable. Um, as you develop your skills as a writer, you have for you right there at your disposal a barometer through which you can um, you can um, you can understand how how strong your work is. So if you are getting recognition on the blacklist, and and certainly if you're getting recognition regularly on the blacklist, um, you you know that you're ready to um, to go out into um, into the field or to march out into the field, so to speak. So if you are trepidatious about a screenplay that, um, that you are going to submit to an agent or a producer, if you um, are um, a little um, unsure uh, or uncertain um, about something that um, you wanna pass on um, for consideration to, to anybody, um, Try and see if uh, you can pass mustard on the blacklist. Um, see if um, that script um, um, can get get you a, a score of an eight or above. If you are getting an eight or above score on the blacklist, then I think you can be entirely confident that you um, that your script has has legs at that point. Um, so I think that that um, that that's what also makes it a wonderful tool. Um, it's, 
it's it's a very good site um, because what it does is it um, it bridges the gap um, between the industry and um, and pretty much anybody um, anywhere. Um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't exclude. Um, you out of the process, whoever you are and wherever you are. Um, before um, the blacklist existed, um, we had this um, this arcane version of that, and that simply meant that um, you had to be um, somewhat in the know um, or working um, at some in some strata of the industry to be able to. Um, um, get your scripts read by a reader um, at a production company or an agency or what have you. Um, instead, now you can just go online, um, pay the fees, and uh, have a reader um, um, produce coverage for you that way. Um, um, in, in the old days, in fact, <clears throat> um, you know they they. Sometimes if you were submitting your script to a producer, they'd ask to see your coverage instead of um, your script itself so that they could get an overview of your script. And you go, oh, well, I have some coverage here. Let me, let me send that on, uh, on to you and you can have a look. Um, here on, on the blacklist, they can simply go onto the blacklist, read your coverage, and then download your script. So it's great. And, 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 and Franklin Leonard is a, he's a really, um, really, really, really fascinating, um, inspiring character um, with what he's done here with his, um, with his website um, and also his, um, his, um, his advocacy and support of people in all areas of the writing field and his, um, his strong stance on inclusion. So, so uh, I'm, I, I can't say anything but good things about him and, his, and what he's done for, for the community. And what kind of feedback have you gotten on some of your work that's made it onto the blacklist? Well, uh, I, I, I've, I've been lucky enough to score high um, um, a couple times, yeah. Um, that's, I've, I've had some good feedback. Um, I, think, I think that, um, as a writer, you, you, it's incumbent upon you to run that gauntlet that you need to, you need to go on there and um, score high on the blacklist. You, I mean, this is, this is where, this is where my, 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 my pride will come out, or let's say my ego as a writer, um, where is like, I need to knock, I need to, I need to see this, this, this script, this story, whatever, knock it out the park somewhere. So it's, it's got to knock it out the park on the blacklist. It's got to knock it out the park on, on, the, on, a, on a, a spot on the Nichols Fellowship. It's got to knock it out the park on, on say, Austin. I've never placed on Austin, but I'm just going to say that. It's got to knock it out somewhere. Um, once it's done that, then I'm like, okay, well, I'm pretty sure it's a good script, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or I'm pretty sure it, um, it will impress somebody somewhere. So um, these are our tools today that we have um, uh, at our disposal, at our fingertips, literally in front of us on our screens that we can use as barometers for how good our work is. Um, so, you know, they should be used, you know, you should use them um, and not be, not be afraid. You know, um, it's, um, I know it, it can be really daunting to, to receive criticism and to um, allow others to look at your work. But this is the thing um, is that First of all, you learn not to take um, criticism personally, um, that it doesn't mean that you should necessarily change anything that you're doing. It, it only offers you one thing. It's perspective. That's it. Criticism 
gives you perspective. Now, now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that I can judge the distance between what I'm going for and what lands. That's what that means. So if I'm, if I'm hitting with something that where I, I was going for a target and I know it's hitting and I'm getting that feedback from somewhere else, an objective source, I'm getting that feedback, then I know I'm onto something. You know, um, that, that's perspective. Um, if you, if you're getting something that's a little off to the side, if someone's going, oh, I'm, I'm seeing this as something else, if someone's misunderstanding it entirely, then you, you might want to step back and adjust. You might want to go, oh, okay, wait, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to change how this, um, you know, how the second act sort of um, um, moves right here, or I'm going to adjust, you know, this aspect about the beast story, or I'm going to um, um, give this character a, um, you know, a, a long lost sister. You know, it, it, it's, all these things can mean the difference between a good script and a great script. Perspective will give you that. Perspective will imbue you with that. And when you have that experience, you never, you never take criticism personally. In fact, you invite it and you want to know, and you're curious about people's criticism, even if they if if they're not, even if they're they're they are to a certain degree mis, misguided criticism, criticism. Even misguided criticism can enlighten you as a writer, and make you a better writer. Say I'm a screenwriter and I upload my script to the blacklist, mm. and I pay my seventy five dollars. Am I just getting a one-time feedback, some notes, or is that script now accessible to anybody? Yes, um, that is the case. Um, anybody can um, read the script on the blacklist. Um, what's cool about that is that um, the the designated readers that you um, that you uh, pay for or hire to read your scripts. Um, will we'll provide you with feedback, but also the people that, um, or the industry folks that um, go on there and may stumble across your script or see your log line and just appreciate your log line, also have the option to, um, to download your script. Um, and they also have the option to offer you coverage. So um, that's a cool thing. I think it's rare that that ever happens because I've never received coverage from someone that have just has just been perusing my script or just downloading it um, um, off of the off of the blacklist. Now, more than likely, what does happen though is that you 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 get a high score on the blacklist. And that's when you actually get attention from um, from from industry readers, um, and they'll and they'll download your script um, um, in numbers. But um, but and that's what you want. That's what you want to try and do. Um, you want to, you know, it, it it can you know. Let me tell you, it can be expensive. Um, if you're paying $75 pop as you re revise your script to try and make it better and better so you get some kind of attention, you know, that can add up after some time. But if you do, um, 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 you know, score high, um, you know, that can be offset by the fact that you're going to have, you know, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people downloading your script. Because I just said, did you get any feedback and... You said you, you scored high. Um, I don't know if we went into, if there was any negative feedback and maybe we don't want to 
go there? Or? Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. There's negative feedback, but but that's but that's but that's a part of what what screenwriting is. You know, you need to get negative feedback at some point. You know, you're not if if you someone is not going to like something that you've written somewhere. You know, for some reason. The, what you need to know is why. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. You know, you need to know is why. There, there, you, uh, um, there's, a, there's a meme that's circulating right now that's um, by, um, by, um, um, that, that features um, Jordan Peele. And Jordan Peele says, you know, um, you know how you handle criticism? This is how you handle criticism. Uh, when I have a screenplay and I send it out there and someone says, you know, there is a scene in there, it's just way too violent. You know, I just, it, it took me out of the screenplay. You know, I, I think you should do something about that. He's like, I don't go home and take that scene out of the screenplay, no. What I do is I go back and I work on that screenplay and find the thread that substantiates that violence. And I, and I make that, I, I, I express that in a more um, succinct and better way. That's, that, 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 that's, that, you know, that's what he says, and I'm paraphrasing, but, but, but that's basically what he is, um, is expressing. And, um, you know, that's my, same, I have my exact same attitude. You know, negative, negative feedback sometimes is your best feedback. <laughs> sometimes it gives you the best, you, know, you get breakthroughs, you know, from negative feedback. Yes, absolutely. <laughs>